this is quite literally going to be the easiest challenge of my entire life. I'm so excited. For those of you who may not know, there's only two rules. No liquid calories and I gotta finish it all within 24 hours. <laughs> That's easy. I've actually always wanted to try this challenge. It's been really popular amongst the fitness industry of YouTube. Today I'm gonna be attempting the 10,000 calorie challenge. So today we are doing the 10,000 calorie challenge. So welcome to the 10,000 calorie challenge. And since I've been doing so good with my diet this year, haven't really had a cheat day, I thought why not go big for the first cheat day of 2023? Yeah! <laughs> I can't just eat donuts for breakfast though. That kind of grosses me out. I need to have some food with some substance. McDonald's! Truthfully, this isn't any better than the donuts, but at least it's not just dessert, right? Right. So, I'm a little sad I missed the McDonald's breakfast menu because I've been craving it ever since the kids that had it like seven days ago. The smell of this McDonald's right now, oh my god, it is tempting me. It's been a while since I had it, but damn, I've been craving it. Let's show you what I got. Two large fries, one six-piece McNuggets, two, oh, I ordered four of these. Damn it, I'm gonna be starving afterwards. <laughs> one quarter pounder with cheese and an apple fritter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wash this down with donuts. You can't tell me this doesn't look bomb. Taking off the hat so you guys can see my face a little better. Please excuse the hat hair. But let's get started. Ooh, I don't even know what to dig into first. I've actually never had a real burger from McDonald's, unless you count the Big Mac a real burger. But this thing looks like an actual burger burger. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Oh my god, though, this is good. Well, that went down faster than I expected it to. Some chicken nuggets. Listen, I understand McDonald's is bad for you, but for those of you who say it's not good tasting either, you're full of sh McDonald's is bomb. Oh, let's slam down some of these fries. Mmm. Mmm. Top tier fries. Oh my. Am I am I hyping this place up too much? Have I not had it in that long? Down. Right there. That's like a thousand two hundred calories. So sauces don't count towards the calorie goal, but I really want some ketchup with these, so I'm gonna eat it anyways. This brings back so many good memories of me as a kid. The nostalgia. Every bite is like a childhood memory. Oh my god, this is too good. Nuggets down. Let's get on to the cheeseburger. These, even though they're plain and simple, they're always good. I don't consider this a real cheeseburger, but man, this is good. Mm-hmm. Just got done with the main course stuff. Gonna move on to the desserts. Let's start off with this apple fritter right here. This thing looks bomb. Wow, was that good. I'm being hit with this wave of sleepiness right now though. Really weird, usually when I eat junk, I get really amped up. Last but not least, we got the Krispy Kreme Donuts. It's a little taste test. They've got these Biscoff biscuit ones right now. I'm excited to try. Mmm, mmm. One of the best donuts Krispy Kreme has ever come out with, by far. Mmm, 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 what? Oh my god, was that good. Oh, I'm starting to hit that wall though. That's not good. I thought I could do way more than this. I thought I'd be done with this whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to save the rest of these donuts for later. I'm stuffed. This is all I got done for now. I was only able to get two donuts in. I thought I could get more than that down. That's okay though, we shall save these for later. But I'm curious to see how I did calorie wise on my first meal. First meal of the day, we got 4,020 calories in. What the, I told you this is gonna be cake. And to think I was feeling a little down, like, oh man, I didn't eat that much food. And look, it's only 11.37. I shouldn't be proud of this, that's actually disgusting. Look at this little food baby right here. Damn! Stuffed a little too much in there. <laughs> 5.35. Getting ready to go to gym here in a second. But first, we need a quick snack. 
I am such a fatty at heart. Oh my god, how can food make me this excited? I don't know. This is a problem. This is not good. I'm not a doctor, not a dietitian. Don't follow what I'm doing. This is not good advice. Especially don't do this video. Definitely not healthy for you. Even watching this probably isn't healthy for you. But either way, I need a snack. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I definitely have a problem. So to start off with the Biscoff biscuit donut once again. Oh. It's even better the second time because I'm not so full from the other food. Up next, chocolate cream filled. Not as good as the Biscoff, but really good still. Strawberry sprinkled. I always forget how much I like strawberry flavored things until I have strawberry flavored things. I'm sleeping on them. And we'll end this little snack with a chocolate sprinkled. Strawberry one was better. Nice, satisfied, and not overly stuffed. Perfect. I'll be saving the rest of these for later. Oh, we're at the climbing gym. Oh. Oh. Nice. The pump I'm getting right now from all the sugar is insane. My muscles feel like they're bulging. Oh my god. I can't tell if this is helping or hurting my climbing because although I do feel a little more powerful, everything gets tired way quicker. Oh, it burns. Because I've been dieting so hard lately, I can really feel the difference in the sugar and the pump and all that. If I ate like this every day, I would just get sleepy. I'd be sleepy after every meal. Unwanted side effect of eating all this junk, I feel foggy, a little out of it, and just not as sharp. Although the body feels good because I've been dieting for so long and I'm replenishing cal calories. See, there I go stumbling. My mind doesn't. It does feel a little off, foggy, and a tiny bit sleepy. Okay, phenomenal workout. It is now currently 8.44 though, and so we need to get some calories in. I'm actually starting to get a little worried here. The first half of this challenge, I thought it was gonna be so easy, but I'm still a little full from those donuts. Don't know how much food I'll be able to eat right now. Sweet, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. We got the goodies. <laughs> I think I was just experiencing flavor fatigue earlier because the thought of eating more donuts kind of grossed me out. The thought of eating more pizza, ooh. <laughs> Why am I so excited? This is not good for me. Oh my God, something is wrong with me. <laughs> to experience less flavor fatigue on the way home and stop by the grocery store, Got some goodies. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, very yummy. <laughs> so this is everything I got, excluding this pizza. This is my cousin's. I just used it for the thumbnail. <laughs> don't hate me. No way we don't hit the 10,000 calorie mark with all these goodies. This is gonna be too easy. Again, I'm overly excited about damaging my health. Good one, Oscar. Nice. Tell me that doesn't look bomb. Oh my goodness. Let's get started with this pizza. Mmm. Nice little cheesy crust. Pizza has nostalgia too. Who remembers pizza parties at school? Oh my god, any little party as a kid had pizza? Those were the days, man. Being a kid, I miss it. Flavor fatigue is a very real thing. The first few slices were incredible, amazing. They were the best pizza slices I've ever had. The last slice was just greasy. A little gross, to be honest. Anyhow, since we're getting sick of that, don't want to force it down. Let's go on to some of the sweet treats. Ooh, 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 I don't even know what I want to start with. I think I'm gonna go with the higher calorie stuff first, meaning ice cream, just to complete the challenge, get closer to it. And then if I'm not full by the time it comes close to the end, I'll start snacking on these lighter treats, even though they're not much lighter. No way we don't complete this challenge soon. This thing is a calorie bomb. 1,400 calories. Oh. Oh my God. Entire peanut butter cups in here. No way. So soft, fluffy. Has Ben and Jerry's gotten better or has it always been this good? Oh yeah, look at that spoonful. Big old peanut butter cup with the perfect amount of ice cream. So good. If I'm doing my math right, I'm assuming I just need a thousand more calories. <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing because I'm still hungry. Up next, we shall be having Oreo cookie sandwich. Ooh, can't wait. Dude. Oh, I thought 
the ones from the gas station? Are these the ones? I think they're the ones. Well, how happened? One more of these ain't gonna kill me. 420 calories? Not bad. I think if we finish this box, we hit 10k calories. No way. Am I full yet? I'm getting there. I'm getting there, but not quite there. These are the easiest things in the world to eat. Mm. Okay, I knew I was doing my math wrong. Currently, we are at 9,610 calories. All we need is 400 more. I was probably gonna eat 400 more anyways. <laughs> I don't think I wanna commit to a full thing right now. I, I'm gonna have a little bit of everything. I'm afraid of commitment nowadays, you know? I'm single. <laughs> Just gonna have a little bit of each one of these, I guess. After eating so much hazelnut, I'm getting a little bit of flavor fatigue. So I'm done with this for now. 300 calories left to go. Mmm. Little Kit Kat. Mmm. I actually already started on it. Mmm. I am at 9,931 calories. If I eat these last two Kit Kats, I'll be at 10,038 calories. Mm. I'm kind of sad it's all coming to an end. I've been wanting to do this challenge for so long. Finally did it. I knew it'd be easy, but not this easy. People make it seem like it's so hard. I pretty much only had two meals. Am I the problem? Do I have an issue? Or do they? And that's it. 10,000 calories devoured just like that. Didn't even get to eat my wings. With truth of right now, they don't even sound good after all this dessert. You guys wanna know the craziest part about doing this challenge? It's made me realize that I used to eat like this quite often. No wonder I was 30 pounds heavier. I would literally have these exact same meals. Granted, maybe not this much variety, but pretty close to what I ate today. No wonder it was no problem, and no wonder I used to be 30 pounds heavier. That's crazy. I do want to say that I don't promote eating this way. It's definitely not healthy for you. It's a fun little challenge that I decided to try for myself, entertainment purposes only. It was fun though. It was entertaining. I like watching these kinds of videos. And so anywho, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!